Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And on this Texas All Water Fishing, I want to give you a fishing report. You know, I went out yesterday twice. Once I went out in the morning, and the second time I went out in the evening. Now, I was invited to go fishing by a Patreon, a subscriber, a viewer, a friend. Uh, owner and operator of the boat and he invited me out and said hey you want to do a little fishing hey guys this is arthur with triple seven travel uh, if you want to book any type of trip whether it be a cruises or all inclusive or even just a hotel here in galveston give me a call at 281-541-1301 uh, also like us on facebook it's uh, facebook.com uh, slash lucky 777 travel so in the morning we met at the Galveston Yacht Basin. If you've never been to the Galveston Yacht Basin, it is a great put in. But after we put in the water around 7, 7.30ish, we headed straight over to the North Jetty. Hitting across the channel, you know, I noticed that there was a real spotty, there was pretty dirty water, spotty clean water, cleaner water, cloudy and murky water. The water was just real touch and go as far as clarity goes. You know, I wasn't too sure what to expect. Was really primarily thinking to target speckle trout. We picked up some live shrimp. I had some drop shots because whenever you're fishing around the jetty, it's always great to drop some shrimp down. Always great to have a shrimp on a cork like I was using the voodoo cork, tossing around the rocks. That's always great as well. And also a few lures, you know, I never shy away from throwing a lure. I never shy away from throwing, whether I'm throwing a spoon or voodoo shad. Or any Inger bait soft plastic, you know, I never shy away from throwing and pitching and casting. So we made a quick stop and fished the boat cut where you go from the outside, the inside of the channel of the North Jetty to the outside of the channel. One thing that I really noticed was that more of the inside of the channel was a little more cloudy. There was some spots that were really, really dirty. Then there was some spots that were really murky. We posted up to fish some of that great current and and see if we can try our luck hooking up. Come on, got him. You got him, what do you got? Hey, that's a big old whiting. Jeez. You swallowed the hook too. Look at it. Hey. Kay. You I gotta kiss to it. Kiss it not mine. No, I said, uh. I said the first person that kisses a fish has to kiss it. Uh. I didn't say, so you're the first person to kiss a fish. There you go. Hey. That's a big whiting, whiting. Hold him up, let's see. Too. Let's see, Ooh. hold him up, there you go. Good bait too. They taste good. I did a white ear on a half show as a joke. Hey, new species. Look at that. Look, that's a little jackfish. Look. Yeah. Look at that. Let me see his tail. Let me be able to see his tail. Move your hand out the way. There you go. I got to see his head too. You want to show him as much as possible, unless of your finger. There you go. There you go. Good job. Dang, you got another jack. Let me see. That one's bigger. Look, they're getting bigger. Yeah. Jacks are running. Another jack? Yep. Look at that. Man, they're running, aren't they? Woo! Smoking them. As we started working our way down, further down the channel to the end, you know, we were just really picking up a lot of smaller stuff. Wasn't a whole lot going on. We decided to go on the outside towards the end of the jetty, drop down. Uh, we had live shrimp, shad, squid, a few bait fish that we caught and uh yeah we were just really hoping hoping to get on some big fish something big mark? yeah a little heavy probably gap top hoping not i can feel him picking and picking at it oh there he goes run a little bit might be a red yeah. but it also might be a gap top Let's see. Uh, I can't move this, uh, the shark. Hard, a uh, gap top. I called it. Dang gap top. They be everywhere. I felt them. I felt them like picking and picking at it. Picking and picking at it. What's he going to get? Probably catfish. We are the catfish kings. Right. Catfish everywhere.
toady down like a catfish. Swimming like a catfish. Tastes like catfish. You got two catfish. <laughs> you got two. Two for one. You got a hard head and a cat and a uh, cap top. Look at that. Hit her babies. Yeah, you said it earlier. It hit, huh? Well, after only landing just some, you know, just some gaff top. That's just what it really seems like was just out there. A lot of big gaff top. I, I did get reports that a lot of people are catching more fish away from the jetty, not necessarily all up on the rocks. We did see a couple other boats out there, and they pulled out a couple of things. Um, I think I saw a couple of small reds get pulled out, but not a whole lot of activity, not a lot of stuff growing, going on out there around the north jetty yesterday a lot of reports coming in at a lot of hardheads a lot of gaff top speckled trout aren't kind of where they normally are this time of year a lot of black drum i mean just the population of hardhead gaff top black drum is just booming right now and you kind of see that a lot of times when you are getting in some of the dirtier murkier water uh, put out a nice whiting a young man that was on the boat with us he put out a nice little shark and uh, he was very excited about that but just not a lot enough going on now father and son told me hey we're gonna go back out and do a little night fishing would you be interested in going night fishing <laughs> absolutely i said count me in let's meet up eight o'clock at the boat ramp and we're gonna see if we can get a little bit of night fishing in now a lot of times when you are night fishing you know there's a nice window of opportunity to really get on the fish those lights where they're the green lights that shine underneath or the overhead lights that shine on top you kind of gotta let those those lights cook a little bit kind of draw in a lot of that bait fish and then when they're stacked full of predator fish is when you roll through now typically the sweet spot the hours to fish those lights is between around two and four in the morning well we have been at it all morning so coming back out at night time we really were gonna fish not necessarily the sweet spot just a little ahead of the curve i want to fish from about 8 8 30 to probably about 12 uh, one o'clock in the morning so after picking up some live shrimp we started to head out, and like I said, you know, the lights weren't cooking that long. I started throwing a spoon, a uh, few other soft plastics. I threw a rattle trap. Uh, we also, with the live shrimp, I uh, free lined a few live shrimp. A young man put some uh, live shrimp on a cork, and he had a nice, nice fish on. Is this fish on now? Get some on, Riley? Yeah. Come on, give me a snack. Hold him down. Oh, that's a nice Ooh, speck. Oh, yeah, give me that, give me that. That's a nice speck. Ooh, you think it's a keeper, Dad? Yeah, it's a keeper. Shh, don't be so loud. I don't want to turn the lights off on us. Nice speck. Oh, 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 oh. oh let it go slack. Oh. There you go, Riley with the big fish. High five. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice one, bro. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Good fight. Listen to that. Listen to that. Put him on the board to see how much you see how much he see how much say what he wages or what he measures. Ooh, 19 and a quarter. Nice. That's a nice one, bro. What? Personal best. You know, really looking and targeting those speck of trout really just wasn't seeing what we wanted to see out there. A lot of dinks, a lot of small fish. Slim Shady from Salt Strong was the ticket for Arthur. He did a great job on hooking up. But again, it was just a lot of dinks, you know. Just not what we had really hoped to uh, see out there. Uh, working the, our lures, working the live bait overnight. I mean, we are close to a new moon, so there's not a whole lot going on as far as the the lighting in the sky, the lighting on the water. So when this happens, there's really just the lights that you see is the lights that are man-made. So that will really draw bait in. Didn't see a whole lot of bait, and it could have just been 
where we were fishing, just the area we were fishing, maybe the next channel over or subdivision subdivision over, uh, could have been very, very more active. We did have an outgoing tide all night, so sometimes that will pull the fish out and away from some of those uh, more inland areas, but I just think for us, it was just more or less the, the luck of the draw. Uh, maybe we would have went somewhere else. We probably would have got on more fish and possibly just the simple fact that, you know, that's just, uh, we were just a little ahead of the curve, a little ahead of the sweet spot. We fished to about one in the morning. And, uh, like I said, I just had a great time. I had a great time out there with Arthur. Um, his information is in the description section of the video. Don't forget if you want to be a Patreon join patreon today there's a link down there you can click on the link and also leave you a little bit more uh, detailed information what we we're using what we were throwing what i was fishing with and all that stuff but thanks guys i really appreciate each and every one of you don't forget if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel please go and do so like the video leave a comment all of that stuff really helps the channel out tremendously and hopefully next time you catch me hook it up thanks